You sure do like to To your opinions talking big like Somebody's listening Nobody's listening Max! 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 Oh! 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 So this channel's on a bit of a daily upload streak, which is quite unusual. You, it used to be a normal thing for this channel. It used to be like every day there's something on this channel. We once went a thousand days in a row of uploads, non live stream as well. Just a thousand days of uploads in a row. Sometimes more than, we used to do like two uploads a day sometimes. But nowadays it's a rarity for this channel. It's more of a common thing for my gaming channel. My gaming channel's currently been daily since May the 1st. And it is scheduled to be daily until November 12th and I got more videos uh, to edit for that channel. That's basically my Twitch streams edited down into videos. That's what that is. Um, so that channel is very active uh, for a long time now. Um, not quite a thousand like this channel once did. But either way, this channel is on. It's a small number compared to the gaming channel and compared to the previous years. But in terms of this channel, in terms of no live streams, non live stream uploads, Actual uploaded videos, no shorts, no live streams. Obviously, we've done those on top of this as well. We are currently on, I think, 25 days as of Thursday. So, 25 days in a row after Thursday's Ship of Jets episodes. And I thought to myself, we can keep this streak going for a few more days. Because if I upload on Friday and Saturday, then I'll get my prelim, not my prelim, sorry, my grand final prediction up on Sunday. Then that's 28 days in a row. I just got to make up the two days make a video each day so I thought to myself let's think of something fresh something we've not done before something something original AFL reddit how original it's not like there's millions of videos on YouTube where YouTubers react to a certain reddit normally YouTubers react to their own reddit but I'm not that famous I don't have my own reddit there's no reddit named off table of productions so I can't look through my own reddit because I don't have one but uh, <laughs> at least because this channel is based around AFL mostly. We at least can look through AFL reddits. So uh, here we go. The Port Adelaide Lighthouse is lit up in teal for the finals. That's pretty good. I like that. That's pretty nice. I didn't. I didn't know this thing was a thing. I mean, I'm sure there's a lighthouse in Port Adelaide. I'm not. I'm not doubting that. I just didn't know there was like a landmark. So is this far from the stadium? Because when I go to Adelaide, uh, maybe this should be on my list to to visit. It seems all right. Based on looking at it. Yeah. Port Adelaide Lighthouse. That's nice. Channel 7 trying to jinx Geelong. Total evidence inside. <laughs> what? By the way, some people ask me who's, who's my favourite commentator. It's Bruce. It's Bruce. So I'm very much glad he's coming back. Because I love his commentary. And uh, even if he's just doing it for money, I don't care. He's a great commentator. <laughs> he just he just has to go, he he has to get just give him a mic that's all you need to do just, just just let him talk just let him talk the whole time because the rest of the guys maybe they're not so entertaining uh, every time he's called a big final 08 2010 all through the 90s Geelong have either lost the grand final or not even been there so was he where was he in 2022 was he not there. Uh, all our flags were on channel 10 when they had the rights or 7 with the new crew. Geelong are a third of the way to a flag, so what do 7 do? Let's bring back Bruce. We're no chance now. This sounds like a whole lot of excuses to me. I mean, <laughs> is, who is this guy? Is, is this the guy? Is, is this the name of the guy? No, Abro Coma. Okay, that's not like a, an actual person's name. Um... Yes, he, he has just got the feeling there's a conspiracy against Geelong, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some people do know Bruce was back. I, I found out on Twitter, to be fair. I, had to, I made a community post reminding you guys, uh, in case you didn't know. Um, Aussie rules. For, for some reason, I thought he spelled that wrong. Australian football, great. 
Adam Goods is on BBC, ABC at the moment. I said BBC accidentally because that's the UK channel. Uh, being interviewed by young autistic students. Definitely worth a watch. Thought-provoking questions around his outstanding career, combating racism and volunteer work. Well, there, definitely check it out. It seems sounds like a good piece of media there. Good on him. Hey, listen. A Polish Aussie rules football team has been hit by the worst floods in the country's history since 1997. That's depressing. So, let me go on this link. Do I need to translate it? I probably do. Damn! Is that the field as well? It's one of the most damaging floods in history. The city also has their show the football team. These floods affected many of these players and families. Yeah, I can imagine they all live there as well. I'm just now finding out there's an Australian football team in Poland, but not at the moment, it seems. Hopefully things get better over there. That looks pretty terrifying. The, the fact that, like, you, you got this area here as well, like, the, these parts are, like, heavily flooded. Doesn't seem as bad, like, down there, but then again, you can't really see down there. Well, uh, I'm sure you can find the link, and... Uh, Plenty of people have donated already. If you want, you can donate. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, you know, flooding is never a good thing. Obviously, we have those in England sometimes as well, but not that. I've never seen it in London. I remember one time in London, right, where I was a kid. I can't remember what, how old I was. I was like six, seven, maybe. I do remember it quite clearly though. So maybe it wasn't like six, seven, but maybe it was like eight or nine. Uh, but there was like really bad flooding for one day in London, and like. Really bad for London is not even that high. It's not like what you saw just then, but it was like up to your ankles. Like it was that sort. Of, I think it was higher than that actually. You could drive through it, so it wasn't too deep. You could still drive through it even with a small car, but it was still pretty high for London. I remember that day. <laughs> I finished primary school. Mum picked me up. My grandparents were in the car as well. We were driving to Raganda's house uh, to have some dinner or something. It took, it generally like a 20 minute journey or something, 15, not even that, 15 minute journey, it took about 3-4 hours to get home. Because <laughs> the flooding was so bad, the drains weren't doing their job, the flooding and the rain was so bad, the traffic was barely moving, just slowly, gradually moving and stopping. <laughs> and that was the whole way to Grandad's house from my school. My school's like down the road from where I live, in primary school. Latimer All Saints Primary School. There is a more well-known school called Latimer School, um, also in the area. Where on earth is it? It's around here. Yeah, that's the Latimer School. So that's one of the top public schools in England, at least in London anyway. It's a secondary school there. You've got to pass two tests to get in. <laughs> I never got in. But the primary school, that's not even, that's not really a top school, but it's just... It's the same name, actually. That's all it is. Uh, it's also a church school, this one. Um, when I first joined, it was only accepting Christians. But then they changed when I... Last few years, I was there. But, uh, yeah. From here, we like we went, like, round here and down here. Down to Grandad's house. Like, 15-minute journey, right? It took so long to get home because the flooding was so bad. And it was only a few inches. But, like, for London, it was terrible. There were fire engines everywhere. People couldn't handle it. And the entire time, this is why it was so memorable, the entire time I needed, I needed a number two. <laughs> so I was just sitting there in the car. I badly needed need the toilet. And it's a number two, so it's even worse. And I'm a kid as well. Like, it's, it's, it's a bit worse for a kid to hold that in, right? I'm just holding that in for f three, four hours because there's so much flooding that we can't even get there. But anyway, yeah, uh, flooding gets a lot worse outside of London, like up north. There's a much worse flooding than we get, much worse. Uh, but for London, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Some Londoners who have lived, who've grown up in London, you might remember that day. It was an unusual day because it never happened again. <laughs> but it could happen. You never know. Um, but yeah, uh, sad to hear about that. Hopefully things get better over there. Derm pissed blood in a game and the doctor told him not to tell anyone. What? He's spitting blood, all that sort of stuff.
I feel like watching a four minute 31 video is a little too long. I'm meant to, uh, for this, uh, just, just meant to be like a quick, like <laughs> a, a quick skim through, uh, air for edit. But, uh, yeah, I, 30 was style tougher back then. Yes. <laughs> just, but judging by, I used to watch compilations of AFL all the time. And let me tell you, some of the things I saw from previous eras, <laughs> it definitely seemed a lot tougher than it is now. Uh, so yeah, I guess, yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised by this headline, I'll tell you that much. Um, so iOS 18 now allows live scoreboard on lock screens. I need to download that, but I have, <laughs> I've got two gig left in my phone memory, so I need to delete some photos. Uh, the last two years of holidaying, I got photos from like all, the, the, every holiday, <laughs> and it's added up <laughs> into my phone storage now. Um, and that's considering I delete most of the videos as well. I only keep videos from like events like AFL and Premier League and stuff like that, and wrestling. I don't keep videos from my vlogs of like traveling and stuff. I just keep photos, and still the storage is filled up. When I get my next phone, I'll get double the storage, just <laughs> so it never happens again. Um, why is that on? Oh, that's promoted. I was wondering why that's on AFL. Um, this is the first time since West Coast joined the AFL W that has won three games in a season and they're four games in. Well done to the West Coast Eagles. People will swim. A list of AFL stars and journos on the gambling payroll. You what? Nathan Brown, Josh Jenkins. Well, I would sit here reading all of this, but again, <laughs> I, I don't want to read all that, to be honest. Uh, but but I'm sure there's some sort of other conspiracy going on here. <laughs> um, I wanted to see some posts about the semi-finals, but I feel like I have to go... This is a, I think there's top posts anyway, but I feel like I have to go back uh, pretty far. Because they won't be on top posts anymore. A4 increases salary caps. Is that good or bad? That that is the real question. Where does your team finish 2025? The twist. Fifth. And we'll get to the prelim at least. How would you get to the MCG? Uh, so I would go to Heathrow Airport. I'd probably pre-book the flight first before going there, considering you're flying to Australia. So you. You, wouldn't prob you probably wouldn't go to the airport without picking a flight when you're going to outside of the world. Um, so I'd, I'd book a flight, I'd go to the airport, I'd get on the flight, and it's probably going to be a second flight because it's so far away, unless you take the Qantas one, but the Qantas one is actually very expensive. And even then, it only goes to Perth. So then you have to get another plane to the MCG anyway. So that's another thing. I know they are soon doing a flight from London to Sydney, but that's Sydney, that's not Melbourne. So that either way, regardless it's two planes to get to Melbourne. You can go to Australia in one plane, but it's to Perth. So yeah, I, I would get the plane, I'd go into transit, I'd get the other plane, and then I would get the sky bus to my hotel, drop off my bags and then get the trains to the MCG and meet Southern Cross again before I do that. Yeah, that's the, that's how I would get to the MCG. You've got a four hour drive. That That is that is much easier than, than my way. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Can you imagine if one day I just decided, you know what, I'm going to the grand final and I just book a flight on Wednesday, I land on Friday and voila, it's the next day I'm at the grand final. That, that'd be a good vlog, wouldn't it? I'm not saying, I, I'm, not do, I'm not doing that this year, don't worry. <laughs> do not expect me to be at the grand final this year, okay? That's not happening. I promise you, I got holiday, I booked holiday, I didn't, I'm not going anywhere, but flights are way too much and I've got no tickets, so there's no chance. Plus, if Geelong play in it, there is zero chance I even try, okay? But if they don't play in it, still 0.0001% chance and it's not happening. But maybe next year, maybe I should just do that. Just fly in the day before the grand final. That'd be hilarious. I'd miss the parade though, but it's fine. Uh, how would you, okay, we've read that. Um, we've got to end with some semi-final posts. 
Why is Pizza Express on here? To go away. Sydney versus Port Adelaide this week is only the second preliminary final in the last 18 years to feature two non-Victorian teams. I was going to ask what the other one is. The only one being Fremantle versus Sydney in 2013. Uh, Frio won that game. Fair enough. It's interesting to see Frio not choking for once. Uh, <laughs> we know what happened in the grand final though. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. There's a semi-final post, but it's not this year's semi-final. The Brisbane Bears' last ever win. That's fun. That's very fun. 1936 instructional film how to play Australian rules uh, but it's 10 minutes long well, that's pretty good I'm gonna save that to my history I, yeah it's just to my yeah. um, I definitely not a reaction but I definitely watch that <laughs> if Port met the grand final would they be allowed to do terrace or, never tear us apart why not I know they're not in Adelaide Oval, but like, surely that can be organised. They wouldn't play the loudspeakers. Okay, but they can still do the song, right? Yeah, for the lack of very much, especially at this moment. Uh, I mean, they, they did invent the Adelaide Crows. <laughs> Bas basically to piss you off, uh, I guess. But yeah, fair enough. Um, the case for Canberra AFL team. How about just move the Giants there permanently? I mean, there is a Sydney derby, I know, but... Do we need to make a Canberra team? <laughs> I guess we do need another team, because there's going to be an odd number soon. But, oh, should the Giants move to Canberra? <laughs> the only reason I would say no is because I like rivalries. Sydney GWS, that's a nice Sydney derby. That's the only reason. If, if that wasn't a thing, then yeah, sure, I would say, yeah, move them to Canberra, sure. Um... Saturday night footy. Okay, let, let, let me find something that's like... Do you look at like modern day and say Petrarca, what's happened? I feel like I'd be here all day just scrolling down all the way back to last weekend. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. That's the video. <laughs> I, I hope that made like 15 minutes or whatever. Uh, a nice little session just looking at this. Uh, and uh, this is Friday's video. Saturday's video uh, will be something different. Um... Well, not something different. It'll be something we've done before, but like it'll be something different to this. Yeah, I should have just said that. But you can follow me on Reddit. I guess Daryl Productions. If you're gonna make one about me, go ahead. But you gotta actually post things on there for me to react to. Uh, but if you want, if someone wants to volunteer, you can make a Reddit about me, and you can post things on there, and I'll react to it. But I'm not famous enough for for that to work probably, because like. The YouTubers who do that sort of thing are what? PewDiePie, KSI. <laughs> I've got, I've only got 5k subs. <laughs> I'm not sure it will work, guys, but I guess you never know. Um, this is your boy Diamond Off. Please like, share, subscribe. Oh, where to watch a prelim final in London? Thanks for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it.